I've been waiting for this moment for quite some time, and after many late nights and early mornings and more coding than I ever planned on doing in my entire life, I think I've made the most advanced preset pack DaVinci Resolve has ever seen. And I could not be more excited to introduce to you all abstract titles for DaVinci Resolve 17. I just love good animations. I mean, something about the beautiful lines mixed with the organic movement just feels good. And we all know that really well done animations can greatly enhance uh, video projects. And I kind of wanted to go into what sets these apart because there's actually a lot more than just the design and the flow of the animation that makes these advanced presets. One thing that sets these apart from the modern titles or the modern thirds or any other preset pack that I know of for DaVinci Resolve is that I built multiple versions of these uh, just with the intention to give you guys different places to start from, inspiration to get from, uh, or just make your workflow faster and more fun overall. So at the top of this preset, you'll see that I have version one, two, three, and four. And if I go to version two, this doesn't just change the color, but it also changes the text positioning, style, and the anchor point. So, you know, for, for instance, with this first one, you'll see that our anchor is on the left, in the middle, and then the anchor's on the right. And that may work for the project you're working on. But you may know, you know what? I want everything down the middle. So I'm gonna start with version two. That way everything's already anchored up the way that I kind of have it set to, to lay out. Um, and then from there, you can kind of go through and see this one has an anchor on the right, it's middle again, and then uh, to the left with this bottom one. And then with the last one, everything's anchored to the right. And you can come down here and of course change the text as you would. Um, animated by Marcel Patillo. Uh, you can change the color. You know, everything that you would imagine from the other presets that I've made, you can change. You can change plus more like the anchor. Because one thing I heard out of my last preset, some people from around the world were saying, hey, some of our languages start from the right and go to the left. So some of the modern thirds don't work because they're set up for English and other languages that go from left to right. And I didn't really think about that because honestly, I had no clue. But knowing that going into this, I actually have options for your anchor setting and your directional setting. And the way that these are set up, you can see that with a lot of these styles, everything's set up to be in the middle. If not, then it's set up to be moved to one side or the other. That way, no matter if your language starts from left to right or right to left, um, you can use these and it should work perfectly. So moving forward with these designs, you can see that we have multiple different styles of this abstract center. Um, even this one comes with a lot of depth, which is really cool. A lot of 3D kind of depth here, the way that these are set up. And then moving forward, we have these cool abstract mount. Um, this is abstract mount left, which is like a lower third but it kind of comes up like a mountain. And these would be really cool to use with any travel presets. Uh, and of course there is a mount center and there's a mount middle as well. And you can come in here and go through the different versions also. And one thing I haven't mentioned, which is different about this than my other preset packs is this one has shadows for just the text as well. So if you come into main text shadow, you can actually raise the shadow for just the text. Before you'd have to raise the shadow for the entire preset. So it'd be the text and the graphical elements. Um, so in this one, you have the main text shadow, and then you have a, another drop shadow, which is actually for these mountains. It says text, but it's actually for these mountains. So if I get rid of that, you'll see that these shadow, these mountains in the front do not have a shadow. And then if I stretch this out, you can see that it just adds that much more depth, kind of giving, uh, all these different mountains that come up a little more layering. And then I have a drop shadow for the entire, uh, preset, which you'd be able to see if I wasn't on a black background. Um, but if I could pull this up. And then I can actually bring in one of these generators underneath it, which is cool because you can actually mix these. And that's kind of the intention is you can mix the generators and the presets to do some really, really insane stuff. Um, and then, you know, I can come through here and up the shadow for the whole preset, even giving more depth there. That's pretty nuts. Um, so moving on past the mountains, uh, we have this cool, square lines, which we have at square lines and we have square triangles as well. Uh, so these operate the same with lines coming out the middle to make up 
the overall arcing shape and then the text kind of comes in and then you have an even a little glitched kind of scrambled text that pops in really really sick and earlier i mentioned advanced presets and that doesn't just mean these versions at the top it actually means that you could turn a lot of these into hundreds if not thousands of different variations and if i come down here to let's say the square one color i could change the color of the square let's say if i wanted it to be red or let's say yellow yellow matches with this blue a little bit better so i wanted that to be yellow i can not only change the color but I can also change the line width. So I can make this line a lot fatter or a lot skinnier if I wanted. I could also change the positioning so I can move around where this line is in that overarching square. And I could change the length. So if I wanted to make this an entire border, I could do that as well. And guys, you can do that with all of these lines. So square one, two, three, all through seven, you could change the length, the position, and the color of each of these squares, really just making this one preset uh, the ability to be like, I don't know, hundreds of different presets, depending on how you configure the text styling, the text font, the text size, the text boldness, the line shape, the line position, the line color, the line length. I mean, it goes on forever. And let's keep moving forward uh, before I do go on forever on that one preset. And then we have a lot of square um, explosions. So this is one of my favorite ones, man, the square explosions. These are just so slick how these come in and come out. It's like one square turns in, it grows, and then it spills out into many more squares. And of course, we have different versions of this as well for you to start from. Um, just making it so much easier because let's say you have like a main title. And you're like, okay, I want this to be a main title, but let's say you want to display information. Oh, let me go to this uh, version number four that's obviously set up to display more information. Now I can come through here and customize that uh, to your liking. It's just, uh, yeah, it blows my own. I've been working on these for months and my mind is still blown at what I was able to accomplish here. Um, and moving forward to a couple other styles. So you have this one here, boom, drops down. This one comes in from the side. So this one, if you come into the small symbols here, you can actually change this to even be a word. Because I pretty much have a duplicate set up as if it's one of these squares. So that plus sign is not just a plus sign animation. It's actually a text layer. So you could replace that with whatever you wanted on your entire keyboard, uh, which is pretty sick. And then of course you also have these squares that you could change their color or opacity or whatever you choose. Uh, and then moving forward, we have a, some, some lower thirds because there's actually several of these. There's a square abstract square lines. There's abstract square center. There's abstract square center two. There's abstract square left. There's abstract square right. Um, and then moving on, there's these triangles, which are awesome. Uh, the triangle lift, which is really great because this one doesn't actually cover the whole screen. And I can show that if I go over one of these generators, the generator comes up, you can see the generators behind this one. So this one actually has a background layer where the opacity is turned all the way down in this first version. But then if you go to number two, number three or four, this actually has a full opacity background. So you kind of choose, even the ones that go full screen, you can choose whether they go full screen or not. You can come to any of these background or color layers and I can come down to, Let's say this first color here that is now black. I could go to black and come to alpha down and now that square is just completely gone. So again, the amount of variations, it, it just gets out of hand. You could spend weeks, if not months, just going through different ways that you can set these up and lay these out. And then we have the square or the, uh, then we have the triangle lines, like we have the square lines, uh, like I showed you guys earlier. And this one is really sweet as well. And go to these different versions, boom, boom. And again, if you want it to be a title, it can be a title. If you want it to be more informative with information, it can be informational. I mean, oh, one last thing, one last thing, just to give you guys a little bit more uh, options, some ideas of what the possibilities are. If I go to this big box, go to white, I can actually go to the solid color and come down to horizontal. And now it's like a gradient. And now I have two colors I can choose from. Let's say I want it to be white and red, this weird gradient. I mean, so even the colors, 
You don't have to choose just one color. You can come to any of these shapes, whether it's the squares or the lines or the boxes or whatever it may be, triangles. You can come to any of them and not only go to horizontal, but you can go to vertical, which will give you a gradient going up and down, or you can go to four corner, which will give you a different color in each corner. So let's say I wanted one color to be that, one color to be red, this next color to be uh, blue, and then this last color to be green. Boom, now we have all kinds of colors cascading around this. Just again, kind of going off of the amount of customization and variability that you can have with this preset pack. It's amazing. And if you guys like preset packs for DaVinci Resolve, make sure to give this video a like. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about abstract titles for DaVinci Resolve, definitely leave them in the comment section down below or send me a message on the website. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you like videos on DaVinci Resolve. And as always, I'm Marcel, and this has been Modern Filmmaker. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.